Hi, let's take a review of your practice test. Don't forget your name. That's kind of important. Let me make sure this is a little bit thinner there. Okay, now, standard notation. That means it's got to be in the form of AX plus BY equals C. That means I want all my X's on one side, all my Y's on the same side, and I want the X to be positive. So what I think I'll do on my equation here is let's subtract 7 from both sides because I want the numbers all over on the opposite side. So then we'll get 3x minus 4y equals 3y minus 6. And then let's subtract 3y from both sides. And we'll get 3x minus 7y equals negative 6. This equation is in standard form. It's a linear equation because there's nothing weird in it. Uh, no exponents, no absolute values or anything like that. On question number two, we have this equation that represents the number of premium tickets X and the number of discount tickets Y that can be bought for $600. So if no premium tickets, that means X would be zero. So it would be 300 times 0 plus 50y equals 600. Well, really, that's really 50y equals 600 then, isn't it? Come on, there we go. So if we divide both sides by 50... We get y would be, notice my zeros reduce out, 60 divided by 5 is 12. Don't write y equals 12, write a complete sentence, or at least tell me what the 12 discounted tickets are. On number 3, we have this ordered pair, a comma negative 7. Notice we got a and b in our problem. Since we have a and b in our problem, that means b is actually negative 7. So let's substitute negative 7 in there. So we'll go 5a minus 7 times negative 7 equals 28. Well, then we're going to go 5a plus 49 equals 28. Well, let's subtract 49 from both sides. Run out of room here, so I'm going to write it to the side. So they're going to get 5a equals, let's 28 minus 49 is going to be negative 21, isn't it? So we divide both sides by 5. Now we take negative 21 divided by 5. I can't do that in my head. I got a bunch of stuff opened up here. There we go. So we'll take negative 21 divided by 5. And we get negative 4.2. When you're finding the x-intercept, that tells me y is 0. So a 4x minus 5 times 0 equals 15. So 4x minus 0 equals 15. So 4x equals 15. Divide both sides by 4. x is 3.75. On number 9, we want to do our graph. Look at what's happening here. Now, first off, notice my plus 1. So I know my vertex is up 1. Then, then I see I would go to the right 
one. But then that negative means we're going to flip over the x-axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up one. I'm going to go to the right one. Then I'm going to flip over the x-axis. And there we have it right there. There is your vertex. Is that negative one and one. And then we draw a graph since it's absolute value. Just look at what your transformations mean in your problems and of absolute value, then we can do it.